They were super good friends. My first encounter
I wished I wrote down some of his recipes that he had for all that. Actually, um, in the nursing home, I had to buy him cayenne pepper all the time and he carried it with me. And he put it on everything he ate. Yes. Everything. I asked him one night before church, right when church was fixing to start <laughs> and the way he did his hands, okay, and it got me laughing. The church started, and I couldn't quit laughing. Uh oh. She kind of retired. It's a good enough part. We were in West Virginia. Oh. And he would put Tabasco sauce in everything, everybody else, trying to fool them, and they'd know it. While he had his head turned, I sat next to him. I took that Tabasco sauce, and I bet I put a half a bottle in his coffee. Do you know he drank that and never said a word like he even knew it was in there? I was shocked. I thought, sure, I'd get it. We were at an Aunt Edith's church, you know, when she was still alive, and there was some dinner or something. It was Mexican dinner, and my husband, Don, always, they teased each other back and forth constantly. That was their relationship. And so they had, you know, they had the sauces and different things setting out and little things. And Donnie said, here, Ed, here's some pickles. You'll like them. And they were hot peppers. Oh. And so he says, what are they? Donnie said, yeah, they're pickles. Have some, Ed. And he took one because we figured, because I, I had did it and spit it out because I can't stand things hot. He ate one, never even acted like anything took another one and ate it like, I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, what would he have so said? Donnie just shook it. Lay down like a sick puppy or something, did ya? He wouldn't even give Donnie the satisfaction of knowing he even thought they were hot. Well, Catherine was a whole lot that way, because usually when we travel, we always bring back bread something, and we try to find something hot. Finally, we went to uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I brought him back some stuff called the Dorothy Rush. So I stopped by the store on the way back and picked up some chips to go with him. So we're going to church through them in the back row. He's on usher duty. I said, hey, I got you something to try. He tried it, but he's going to die. I did tell you that. Anyway, he told me after that I didn't need to look for anything. But after church... Catherine comes by, what y'all having? So, oh, no. he, he was sweet, he gave her a sample. <laughs> <laughs> it got under her dentures. Oh. But she did that same, <laughs> went out there and liked to drown herself in the water bath. <laughs> and well, that's I the worst thing. Oh my God. With Rudy, uh, we worked together side by side in the traffic office for 13 years. And I usually went out for lunch and Rudy would bring his lunch. And one day he came in and said, well, don't go out today because we had chili last night and I brought it. I have enough for you too. I said, okay. So we went back to the, the lunch room and we heated our chili up. And I said, and I took a bite of it and said, oh, my word. And so I sit there and I drank water and I kept going over to the faucet and doing more and drinking water. And pretty soon I looked at Rudy and he didn't. He had never taken a drink of water, but he had his napkin. <laughs> he was going like this. And I said, Rudy, isn't that, I said, I can't stand it. The, it won't, it's burning. Oh, what? He said, well, you shouldn't be drinking all that water. It makes it worse. <laughs> he said, yeah, this is a three napkin bowl. <laughs> yeah. Oh.